I haven't been publishing lately, but contrary to what it could look like, I have been doing quite a lot of things in the background for cardboard robots, and I thought I would let you know about it. I have quite a lot of upcoming projects. And the first one is a teachable machine app for the BBC Microbit. New mini app is already available on Cardboard Robots website. This time it is an interface for teachable machine to easily add image classification capabilities to your robots. Teachable machine itself is an online app made by Google that makes training machine learning models as easy as possible. You can learn how to use it in a minute and in the next minute you have your first AI model trained. It is fantastic for education and very classroom friendly. My app allows you to take a model trained in Teachable Machine and connect it with BBC Microbits, so it is very easy to add image or sound or pose recognition capabilities to your Microbit robots. And what I like about this app the most is the fact that you can run it on your smartphone and you can easily mount it on your robot, so you don't need any other accessories, cameras and special electronics to add AI functions to your robots. You can go to Cardboard Robots website to test the app now. Tutorial videos and project ideas will come in upcoming weeks. Next are ping pong balls contraptions. A few months ago I had a chance to design a set of cardboard contraptions machines to transport ping pong balls and build some kind of rude Rube Goldberg machines. Great for some bigger workshops, not only for kids. By now I have three machines, which is a ball dispenser, ball color sorter with teachable machine app mentioned previously, and ball lifter. You can build fun and quite spectacular factory lines with these machines. So let me know in the comments which of these projects would you like to see first. Microbit Robotics for Teachers. I spent last two months working on a video course for teachers and educators. It is finally complete and I would like to give a huge thanks to everyone who bought it in pre-order. Your support substantially helps me to work on cardboard robots. If you haven't heard about my course and you are looking for examples how to code cardboard robot designs, practical lesson ideas and examples how to start with microbit robotics in your classroom, I really hope this course will be useful for you. And buying the video course and the PDF robot templates is also the best way to support this channel. So if you are thinking about it, do not hesitate <laughs> and thank you in advance. Have a bot for Hevelianum Educational Center. One last thing I would like to tell you about is my cooperation with Hevelianum Educational Center from Gdańsk. This project is one of my favorite things I have been doing in the last weeks and a type of cooperation I was hoping for when I was starting Cardboard Robots. Hevelianum commissioned me to design a custom robot template and a workshop plan that could be held on a regular basis with school groups in their center. I am creating a custom robot design together with laser cut stencil and building instructions. The workshops have to be short and give a chance to build a robot in 45 minutes. The robot will come in two variants, with and without electronics. Great advantage of cardboard robots for this kind of workshops is that when participants build a robot figurine without electronics, they can take it home after the workshop. Cost of materials for one robot is less than a quarter of a dollar. After all, it is just a small sheet of cardboard and few nuts and bolts. When the project will be finished, I will be happy to show you the final design and maybe it is a nice chance and occasion to talk about the design process behind cardboard robots. That's all from me by now. Let me know what projects would you like to see first. See you soon and cheers.